Hey guys, how's it going? It's Patrick, the Pong Professor. It's uh, the end of 2020 and we all know what 2020 has been about. COVID-19, right? And, and these things here, masks. Uh, we know that COVID-19 has impacted all aspects of life, including table tennis, right? We've had facilities that close down temporarily or permanently. And even those facilities that are open have often required players to at least wear some sort of mask or face covering inside the venue, if not to play with masks, uh, as is uh, the case at my university where I play. So I thought I would shoot a, uh, a video on uh, face, ma of, uh, face coverings, masks and uh, table tennis. Um, but before uh, going there, please make sure to hit the subscribe button down in the corner and help support this channel. And also take a moment to swing by uh, over to thepongprofessor.com where I have uh, various uh, equipment reviews, equipment ratings, uh, a couple of videos of fun points and other table tennis related stuff. Okay, so hit that subscribe button for me, please. Okay. Even with coronavirus vaccines on the horizon, it is very likely that COVID-19 is going to continue to impact our lives and the way that we play uh, table tennis. My guess is if you want to play table tennis in the spring of 2021, you will likely to be uh, asked to, to wear a, a mask or face covering uh, if you are inside the venue or even while playing, as is the case at my uh, university. Now masks are one of the simplest uh, ways of, of protecting yourself, so actually more importantly protecting others. Uh, scientific studies have shown that masks uh, confer a moderate level of protection to yourself, but they're quite good in preventing disease uh, transmission because the droplets uh, get caught in the uh, material. will be evaluating five different masks with uh, an eye to uh, their safety. Now, this is obviously not a scientific study, but I'll show you a simple test that can kind of estimate how much air is uh, uh, going through the mask and therefore an indication for the, for, 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 for how much, uh, the likelihood of, of, of infection that you are, you are spreading. Uh, I will speak to them uh, with respect to uh, comfort, okay, how, uh, how, how comfortable are they to use while playing table tennis and that is especially important for, for someone who is wearing uh, glasses while playing. And then of course I will also be commenting on their uh, breathability, how easy is it to actually breathe and play while uh, wearing these masks. I will be evaluating five different types of uh, mask. This uh, disposable uh, kind that we have seen all over uh, the place, right? Uh, that will be the first one. Uh, second one will be a homemade uh, cloth, two-layer cloth-based uh, mask. Third uh, type of face covering that I'll be evaluating is this type of microfiber towel that I had uh, laying around at home, uh, which is a nice and cool material, soft material, and which I uh, tied up like this and played with that. We're gonna uh, look at that. I uh, will also be evaluating a regular bandana, which you can tie up and play with like this. And then finally, uh, I will also be evaluating uh, this N95 mask, um, which you typically use uh, while woodworking to prevent inhalation of, of dust, for example, but uh, has also been uh, suggested as a face covering to prevent the spread of uh, coronavirus. So uh, let's get to the simple scientific test and then I'll provide my insight on how well these masks have been uh, working while playing table tennis. A very simple test that I have come across is the blow out uh, the candle test, 
okay while obviously not scientific it is a good indicator of how much air is just being passed through a mask and therefore uh, it's indicative of the risk of transmission disease transmission okay uh, so obviously we all know that if we have here a candle we can blow it out relatively easily but how easily can you blow out uh, such a candle if you're breathing heavily through a mask. That's what we're going to check out now. So the first mask that we're going to try out is the disposable mask here. Okay, And uh, you might be surprised by this result. You can see it's blown out very easily. The second mask that I'm gonna try is the homemade cloth mask uh, shown here. And uh, let me just attach it. There we go. And You can see these are quite effective in uh, in uh, in preventing airflow going through the mask. However, I have discovered that if the mask is sitting very tightly to your snout, then it becomes much easier to blow out the candle. You see. So, uh, what does this suggest? It suggests that a loose-fitting uh, cloth mask uh, might work well in preventing the flow of air th uh, through the mask, but a tight-fitting one might not be very effective. The third type of covering that I will evaluate here in this very simple test is uh, this microfiber uh, towel that I used uh, in some practices. Okay, so you can just it up okay like this and then let's do the test very easy to blow out the candle the fourth covering that I'm gonna look at is a regular bandana which I folded up so it's a two layer one and you just tie it up And let's see. Easy to blow out this candle. The fifth covering that I will look at is the N95 mask. As you can see, the mask does have some limitations as pertains to fit. Let's try again. Reasonably effective, it seems like. Of the five masks in this very simplistic uh, blow out the candle uh, test, only two of them were able to restrict the airflow sufficiently to prevent me from blowing out the candle. Those being the homemade uh, two layer. Uh, cloth mask and almost as good the N95 uh, N95 uh, mask. However, the three alternatives and somewhat I think surprisingly the disposable uh, disposable uh, uh, mask, the bandana and the microfiber towel proved uh, virtually ineffective in uh, restraining the airflow which, is a pretty good indicator that while you're uh, playing uh, table tennis, playing hard, you're breathing hard, you will be likely to uh, to, to 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 spread out some some spittle, some 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 particles that uh, may contain the the virus, and therefore it does pose a uh, infection 
uh, transmi disease transmission risk. No other stroke is as impacted by mask wearing as the high toss surf. This is why I evaluated the different masks using a simple drill. High toss short backspin surf, push into backhand, pivot around to do forehand loop and then free play. The disposable mask doesn't impede breathing and is reasonably comfortable, although I did on occasion get some fibers stuck in my mouth and beard, which was annoying. However, of the five masks, the disposable mask is the one that impedes the range of vision the least. The homemade mask is a little harder to play with. It gets a little warmer and breathing is slightly impeded while playing, but honestly I didn't have any issues playing for extended periods of time with it. Its main drawback is a more limited range of vision, especially as a glass wearer. My homemade mask had a thicker rim. Designs without a thick rim would likely improve the range of vision. The microfiber towel is very comfortable to wear. It is feather light and your face stays cool throughout practice. The very snug fit has some drawbacks though. The towel gets moist where you exhale. The towel clamps down your nose and actually somewhat restricts the airflow through the nasal passages. And finally, the skin around your eyes is pulled back by the towel, which impacts your vision ever so slightly, which I found to be uncomfortable. The bandana is almost as comfortable to wear as the microfiber towel, although you have to tie it tightly for a good fit. And to my surprise, the bandana stays in place while playing. Just like the towel, the bandana pushes down on the nasal passages, giving an uncomfortable sensation of restricting airflow. However, I did not have any difficulties breathing even when playing for extended periods of time. Like the towel, the bandana pulls back the skin around your eyes, which affects the vision. The N95 mask is tough to play with. First off, ensuring a tight fit is difficult as it moves around as you contort your face during play. Secondly, your face gets very warm even after short periods of playing. I for sure was huffing and puffing for air after only a few minutes and I doubt that I would have been able to play with it for more than 15 minutes. Plus, the N95 mask also has a funky smell to it that I didn't particularly enjoy while playing. Adding to all of this, the N95 masks uh, pull the skin around your mouth forward and upward, which limits the range of vision. Of the five types of coverings that I have evaluated here, Three fail due to safety reasons, those being the disposable uh, mask, the microfiber uh, towel, and the bandana, okay? Even though all three of them are very comfortable to wear and uh, only limit, uh, uh, only limit uh, the, the viewing angle uh, minimally, they let through too much uh, air uh, for me really to, 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 to be certain that I'm protecting my, my practice partners. Of the two that do restrict the airflow uh, sufficiently, the N95 mask is very tough to uh, play with because it uh, gets uh, very warm uh, around your face and the breathing is, is, is quite restricted. Uh, especially while playing uh, intensely. So, uh, I, while, while safe, I would not recommend the, this mask. Which leaves me with the homemade cloth mask being uh, probably the best option. It does restrict the airflow quite substantially. It is uh, reasonably comfortable to play with. You don't get too warm. The only thing that I find annoying is uh, this edge here around the glasses which really impacts, uh, which impacts my ability to see the ball, 
while serving in uh, particularly high toss serves uh, uh, I can really feel the the viewing angle being somewhat restricted by by the cloth mask but ultimately uh, we're talking about playing safely and just uh, playing for the next three four five months until the vaccine is out and everyone is inoculated and and we can get back to normal and uh, during that time I think that I will be uh, using such a cloth mask here to uh, protect myself but more importantly uh, protect my practice partner in the event that I was to be an asymptomatic uh, carrier of the corona uh, virus. So I hope you have found this video to be uh, useful. Uh, if you do please uh, do hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and uh, zoom over to thepongprofessor.com where you can read equipment reviews, equipment ratings and other table tennis related videos. Stay safe. Thank you.